What's up, guys? So we're doing... Basically, this is kind of like a part two, really, you know? Because this is a uh, No Man's Sky Orbital. It's a banger reaction. We're going to check it out. We're going to see what this guy has to say about the update. I haven't actually played the game yet. I've been thinking about it so much, though. So I'm definitely... You know, if I don't upload for a week, it's because I'm playing No Man's Sky. Because <laughs> I might be playing it after watching this. Let's check it out. Let's see what there is and uh, see if there's anything I can add to it. Hopefully, you know. And then, uh, yeah. Let's get, Howdy, folks, Let's get into it. Let's get into it. here. Today, I want to talk about the latest free update to No Man's Sky. Yes, Ooh. I know it's been out for more than a week, but still, the orbital update. Wait, when was this? I'll just post like an image to show when when this video came out. But uh, you know, it yeah. Massive. It brings Let's get on a bit. Overhaul to the space stations. And space stations look very interesting now because they're all different from the outside and the inside. The update, so the pace this year from what I've seen anyway so far. This is the first major overhaul we've had since Interceptor. That's been oh. almost a year since then. Don't wow. get me wrong, Echoes was pretty expensive, but it didn't catch my eye enough to cover it. And yeah. same with the whole customizable ship thing, thing is that and the uh, the free hand, like if you don't have the game, you can still play the game. The Stuff like that. Updates used great updates, hard. great great free I mean, content. Like, no Man's Sky Next, No Man's Sky Beyond, No Man's Sky Atlas Rises. This goes hard. First, let's talk about the space stations. That's what this update is named after, Orbital Stations. Mm -hmm. This is one aspect of the game that's been pretty you much... You know, I never played this game in third person, we've had flying, to ships, you know? I always, did, I always did the flying first person. that changed the planets in a huge way, creatures, plants, all of them had had work done. New assets, better textures, but stations remained pretty static. The exteriors yeah. have been virtually identical since launch. They've always been like the those two shapes, but just different colors. In No Man's Sky Next. That's, what, six years ago? six years ago you know how much has happened in those years the fact that hello games is sticking with this game still is mind-boggling to me a little frog man introduces gorgeous frog guy. new procedurally generated Ooh. space stations inside and out while the previous stations were not ugly by any means they were not as procedural they were all right the but they just the look the same just different like color this the design the same style, thing although cute and minimalistic has mm -hmm. been walked away from recent content in the game also they've changed this layout culture, as well detailed and gritty sci-fi gotcha. feel all while staying colorful and full of wonder flying past these riveted on panels all this detail it's night and day and fear not people like me who still miss the old station oh designs. that's kind of close they still live on in outlaw systems and in abandoned stations i guess the taxpayer money wasn't going towards renovating all those pirate dens go figure I love this attention to preserving some of the old in with the new. Abandoned That's stations the, have the a RGB interior layout from launch. Yes, also launch. Ducking. you can walk into these Beam. and see how the game used to look when it first came out. And the pirate station interiors are pretty much the same as when they launched because it's pretty recent, so it doesn't make sense for them to scrap that. Yeah, it wouldn't make but sense. Regular it should stay the same. Are far more detailed. If it's a station Colorful taken over by pirates. Before, you couldn't really tell that you look at that, though. stations when you would teleport from one to the other. They were pretty homogenous in design. The that text was there for sure. The so sharp. It's depressing in a game with 18 quintillion planets. And Look at that, though. It looks so good. Space stations. But no more. Stations now come in a dazzle. Oh. Color combinations, architecture. Slightly different, but still good. Lighting and the atmosphere varies. This is definitely something that you didn't know you needed until you have it. Some space stations look like cathedrals when you look up at the vaulted Yeah, ceilings. look at that. Amazing. Wow. Not only did I find a Home Depot style station, I found a Hello Kitty themed one as well. Get the hell out of here. You. The color combinations are just insane. Another thing that got me hyped is all these moving Ooh. parts and procedural elements that they added. Animations. To. Look at how the station core looks like GLaDOS in some systems. How have you been? I've been uh -oh. really busy indeed. And notice how the core is fed by this giant energy ball every few seconds. It's just so neat and oozes with charm, all these little details. This is no longer a bare bones, purely functional game space. This is a looks living good, man. Space. Looks good. The vendors have new storefronts. Even the cartographer and the guild reps have their own Ooh. fancy stations. There are now more reasons to do missions for them, as each will give you free stuff and discounts. Each of the guilds, as well as accepting certain items as donations to increase standing. All that's pretty neat. Your standing with the different races also matters more now because you get discounts when buying technology mods with Annex. So that's also pretty cool. Along with these new station interiors comes a plethora of great station parts available to use in okay, major okay, okay. including some of this great artwork. All stuff to grind for. Kanaju. He designed a few posters, and they use a few of them in these space stations, which is freaking awesome awesome i'm so happy for him hello games if you're listening please hire me as well <laughs> uh i don't have this artistic skill but maybe i don't know put me in as a cameo or something make me an alien <laughs> before i move on to our other flagship feature i want to mention two other additions from this update firstly that your frigates out on missions will now ask you for help either making a decision or even fighting a battle 
and the results of said decision affect what rewards you get on that mission. It's pretty great to see these older features getting some love as it's a really nice touch. Yeah. Speaking of older features getting attention, new trade surges allow for even more profits for those who like to make money on trade routes. Ooh. Very cool. I'm all for them going back and fleshing out these older gameplay loops. I really hope that the settlement system gets some Alright, but what about the custom ship building? What about that? At the moment. Fingers crossed. What about Bounty and Hunting? If you like this content, overhaul that subscribe button and consider becoming a channel member. Members get exclusive videos, early access to some content. Nolo drip. And even a ship. Oh, ship building. There's like a huge segment at the end here for ship building. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Go, go, go. Okay. Was mishandled by merch store what is this, anyways? But fear not. Nolo. Get all this Nolo yeah, never mind that. And now for the next flagship feature. This is what we want, guys. This is what I'm we want to see. I'm more of a ship hunter myself, but this is something that a lot of players have been wanting for a good while. And I can see why now. If I can't find a Krishna, I'll build it. For even more ship or something build. close enough to it. Scrap ship only gives one part that can only be used on one ship build. And naturally spawned ships retain a special designation saying authenticated starship, meaning... No, I didn't just build this one. I found this exact design oh, okay. in the universal one, which is pretty neat. To me, my favorite part is being able to use colors that don't occur in the wild. And I'll probably make a fleet of similar colored ships. I just want my ships to be like, dot, blue. You can only make fighters, haulers, and explorers. So no All black. ships and no interceptor. But the trailer and the patch notes show shuttles. So we might be able to get some more ship types soon. Who knows? All in all, this update is pretty game-changing relative to the updates we've had recently. I didn't even mention that we got improvements to reflections and to the rendering engine, allowing for. I'm not so fussed about that. I just want to. Oh, interior stuff. Soon. I think that's hinted at because if you look in the side of the station, you can see that there's a bunch of doors, but they have no access yet. Yeah. Or perhaps. So they're probably going to get access at some point. Like a new room, maybe. So many years and finally own a space station, maybe even build on it. It's pure speculation. That'd be though, super so expensive though. If you if you're going to own your own space station. Work. It has to be hella expensive, like one, like a huge grain, like such a pain in the ass thing to like, if you have to get the pe like the pieces, the parts, whatever, it would take so long, it'd be hours. But that would be a good idea though, that'd be a good idea, you know, getting your own, your own station I guess, but you know, I mean, you, I don't know, because they did that with uh, with fleets, right, like you can, you can get a free fleet, or you can buy one, so would they do something like that, like a, uh, you know, like a, uh, like like a like a sal salvage salvage a space station from pirates maybe and, and you can get a free one if you go through the hassle of you know clearing it and then fixing it or you can just buy one I don't know I don't know man I don't know but yeah interesting I don't really I don't really have anything to add to that other than what I've already said I'm guessing this is the person I'm reacting to <laughs> yeah check them out like this video and like the video I reacted to. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know what you let me know what your No Man's Sky experience is like. Because mine's been kinda like out so I was a first person. Oh yeah, like there's so many things that I didn't know about in the game. Like I was like 60 plus hours in before I realized I could lock onto a target when I'm fighting pirates. <laughs> and that would help me so much. I've been flying the entire time, mouse and keyboard. Like trying to control everything and like I, I probably died once the entire time I played the game, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I've been like I've been doing it. I've been playing the game the hard way, not gonna, not gonna lie. But it's been super fun. Kind of similar to, kind of similar to Reborn as a space merc. Kind of like that, but without the, you know, the elves. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, somebody you know, and I'll see you in the next one.